Roman Reigns recently spoke to TMZ Sports and gave a pretty good damn reason as to why he hasn't returned to SmackDown. His wife has not only just given birth to twins, but he also has other children and he doesn't want to compromise his health just in case he compromises there. So that's that. It's the end of the argument. If you're out there right now going, well, I think Roman Reigns should go back to WWE TV. You need to go find a mirror and look at yourself in said mirror because you got some deep rooted issues. Roman Reigns, I respect the hell out of you. So yeah, he said straight up that his own immune system is fine, but he's thinking of others. <laughs> what a concept. But inside WWE HQ, this has led Vince McMahon to being quite confused. Why? Here's why. This all sprung to life after we did a Money in the Bank countdown on Raw, and entry number one was Seth Rollins cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase at WrestleMania 31. However, for one reason or another, Roman Reigns had been clipped and cut out of this entirely, so it looked like Seth had cashed in with Brock Lesnar, and then straight away, Roman Reigns had heat. WWE were erasing him from history, and we were all running around like headless chickens because we couldn't handle it. And if we were living in medieval times, we would have put Roman Reigns in a catapult and just sent him hurling over the wall because why the hell not? What seemed to escape most people, though, was literally a week prior, we had more clips, this time when it was Triple H's 25th anniversary celebration, and there was Roman Reigns. So unless things were changing day by day, it didn't seem to be a massive issue. As it turns out, things are changing day by day, and that's what we're gonna talk about. Revealed in the Wrestling Observer, Dave Meltzer noted that right now, Vince McMahon doesn't know what to do when it comes to Roman Reigns and that his mind is changing like the wind, or to sum it up, he's confused, and every day he wakes up and goes, well, maybe we should do this, and then two hours later he goes, no, we should do that. He hasn't got a clue. It explains why there's been such an inconsistency when it does come to television, and if you are somebody who watches SmackDown, in kayfabe, boy, how does my heart go out to you? Because from your vantage point, Roman Reigns arrived, he signed a contract to fight Goldberg at WrestleMania 36, woohoo, exciting, exciting, for the Universal Championship, and then he just vanished and nobody mentioned his name again. That's another edict from the company right now. Vince has told the commentary team, don't mention Roman's name, but it is just weird. There's even more to this though, because even though Vince himself didn't mention the big dog's name in the investor call that WWE did a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, whenever the hell it was, just recently, FS1, who obviously in cahoots with World Wrestling Entertainment, ran a one hour special on Roman Reigns. And this is essentially like ping pong right now. You just close your eyes and you hit the ball and you hope it ends up in the right place because that's all that ping pong players do anyway. Categorically not true. They are very skilled. The key takeaway is that Roman hasn't been erased from WWE programming or history, so we can now put that to bed. Although, to be fair, yes, if you want to say, but wait, Simon, if things are changing day by day, maybe this will happen. Okay, I will concede to you on that point, but I very much doubt it. Because really, let's face it, Vince McMahon could have changed his mind when I started doing this video, and then about 30 seconds in, changed it again, and now he's still trying to contemplate what the right decision is to make. I'm not going to second guess the boss. It's not worth it. But it it is ridiculous because all WWE had to do was mention this in the build up to Mania and now there would be no issues, we wouldn't even be talking about it. You could literally ignore Roman Reigns and nobody would be none the wiser because you gave them this nugget of joy. It would make sense in terms of the story because even in reality it makes sense and it's why if you don't think this was the right thing to do, I worry about your brain and it's also why there's no heat on Roman Reigns. Can you actually imagine those words coming out of somebody's mouth? You're having some kind of backstage creative meeting and a higher up goes, I can't believe that Roman Reigns, don't know where they're from, but I can't believe that Roman Reigns is staying home to protect his new children and his old children. Yes, that's what human beings do. I suppose the determining factor that is creating all this confusion with WWE and Vince McMahon is that they don't know what they're working towards. I mean, who the hell knows, Roman included, when he's going to be able to return to work. If you are watching the news right now, like a lot of us are, there was a US advisor the other day who said he doesn't believe that sporting events such as WrestleMania, where you have these 50,000 plus crowds, are gonna be able to happen until 2022. And in case you don't have a calendar right now, it's currently 2020, that's two years away. Maths. So it's not like we're on the cusp of going back to normality. And as for the former champ himself, he probably doesn't have a clue either. He's living day to day like we all are. And I'm sure he'd love to be Superman punching fools and spearing them out of their pants. 
but he's got to do what's best for him. He's got to do what's best for his family. I would imagine it's no pick and nick for him either. And he can't needlessly put himself in a precarious position because then all of this was for naught. And even if you want to look at it from a more corporate business standpoint, in terms of what WWE may think PR wise, what a terrible look that would be. That's exactly what we need to stay away from right now. So whatever you have to do, make it happen. So does all this mean that it won't be until next year's Royal Rumble when we actually see Roman Reigns again? Could he make it back for SummerSlam, Survivor Series? I think the reason this has blown up in the way that it has, while everybody is desperate for answers and why it's confused Vince McMahon so much, is because who it is? It's Roman Reigns, the top star in the company. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but if Mojo Rawley had made this decision, I don't even think I'd be here right now. You're just going, okay, cool. Mojo Rawley has chosen where he wants to go, and that's what he's going to do. I mean, Sami Zayn's probably a better example. Sami Zayn, the Intercontinental Champion, as far as we know, he too has decided to stay at home, and more power to you, Sami. You keep smashing it. But is anyone going crazy about that? No, because it's not Roman Reigns. It's just the hierarchy at work, and it would happen in every other promotion in the world. If you're all the way up here, more people are going to talk about you. Do you remember what happened in 2016 when it turned out that Roman Reigns had violated the wellness policy? My word. You couldn't go on any wrestling news site for around about 322 years without people just throwing you in the face because there was the shock and there was the surprise factor that you don't get if it was Mojo Rawley. I don't know why I'm picking on Mojo Rawley. He's clearly great and has all the potential in the world, but WWE won't do anything with him. Of course, as fans, we will continue to do this and keep an eye on every little bit of news that we do see, but let's just break it right down to brass taxes. Roman Reigns again is doing what's best for him and WWE right now is just in a little bit of a predicament as they try and figure out what they want to do. I mean that's what confusion is. It literally means a person who is unable to think clearly or is bewildered. And what does bewildered mean? Confused. Give these words to Vincent Kennedy McMahon and now we know his current mood. I mean, what would you do? Take a minute and think about what would you do? Well, we already know. You would have just done what AEW did, which was the sensible thing to do that they did with Hangman Page and the Young Bucks. They would just look at you in the camera like I'm doing now and they would say, oh yeah, they're just staying at home because of the global situation. And you, as someone who is experienced in the global situation, would go, I totally understand because I have sympathy and I have empathy. But I want to point out, as we are chatting about this again, all I care about is that people are well, that people are self, and that people are healthy. Wrestling ain't important in times like these. I appreciate the distraction, but I'd much rather Roman had a big smile etched on his face. Because again, you don't have to risk your life for my well-being. I don't deserve it anyway. I'm a bald asshole who runs his mouth and annoys a lot of people. So don't even worry about me. You do you, but there you go. Roman Reigns is staying at home protecting his family. Vince McMahon is confused because his top star may not be there for the rest of the year. And that freaks him out, likely because he had all these plans for the big dog. I mean, look, it was never meant to be Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt. I will bet all the hair on my head on that. We were clearly going to move into Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns. And then we kind of did a little shindig diddle do. By now, we would have been back to it, but we can't get that. So Vince also probably panicking because, again, ratings are in the toilet. He just got a lot on his plate. Vinny, I will share some of that food. I'm just hungry. Anyway, the point of all of this is that this actually may be a situation where there's goodwill on both sides, but WWE is just struggling how to make heads or tails of it. And that's okay. That happens. It happens in big companies. It happens in small companies. Honesty and transparency is usually the best policy, but we decided not to do that, which will always be a mystery a la evolution to my head. But he's not being written out of history, and he's just over there while WWE is over here. And let's face it too, right now, with all the empty arena stuff, when he does come back and there are fans in the building, he will probably get a mega pop because absence makes the heart grow fonder, and it will just be nice to see his face and his beard and his hair again. That's right, I like Roman Reigns, and I'm happy to stand here and say it. You can't do anything apart from what? Write a comment, I will reply, and then I'll offer you some tea. Now, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this. And please, if you don't agree with this, you know what? I don't even care. You do you, but no, I'm judging you. That's right. I'm judging you and I'm looking down at you from my giant tower. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to What Culture Wrestling. It's free. You just go click. Head over to whatculture.com and read yourself articles like this. You can stay up to date as you can do on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE. And you can watch more videos here when you're stuck in your house. It's called What Culture Wrestling. My name is Simon from What Culture. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, honestly, I watched the TMZ Sports interview with Roman Reigns and I implore you to do the same. What a good, well, decent, hardworking dude. Honestly, he comes across so great. He comes across like a man that has so much integrity. And I like integrity and he had compassion. 
just a fabulous guy. And I hope when he does come back, WWE finally realizes that everything that happened with his leukemia and everything that happened with this, just let Roman Reigns be Joe Anawai. Call him Roman Reigns, because obviously that would be crazy to call him Joe Anawai. But let him be this human being. He's just such a cool cat. And cool cats usually get cheered, and cool cats usually get over. I will see you soon.